What is going on, folks? Welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. This is game number two of our doubleheader tonight. Number one, Dayton, 10 and 1 on the season, riding a six game win streak, is hosting the 7 and 4 Ohio Bobcats in a battle for Ohio. Just give me one second here to post this into our Discord community. If you're not in there yet, go ahead and join us. There's a link in the description below. And you can get yourself a player in this series. Would love to see you guys in there. All right. <sighs> Okie dokie. All right, Chaos Driven is first. What's up, brother? <laughs> All right, let me get my chat up on my phone instead of the computer so my computer doesn't die while we're streaming because that would just be no bueno, no bueno. Also, I have to close out my Discord because, well, you know, computer's trash. All right, Dayton Flyers, number one in the nation. They have the number three ranked offense and the number one ranked defense. Man, that is, I mean, how do you compete with that? Well, Ohio, they're not too bad either. Number 17 offense in the country, number 23 defense. So a couple top 25 teams as far as offense and defensive rankings. Going head-to-head -head here tonight. Should be a fun game. Nationally televised ball game. Let's take a look at the Ohio Bobcats stats so far this season for their players. All right. Travis Mason, senior quarterback. Almost 2,700 yards passing, 18 touchdowns, 5 picks, and a smooth 69 completion percentage. Who we got in the chat? Matthew Lee, Bryson Shields, Tyler Rocky. What's up, brothers? John Trott, 1,300 yards rushing, 17 touchdowns. Definitely watch out for him tonight. He should be a force for the Bobcats. McKinley Jackson. He's got two last names. Feels weird. Eight touchdowns, leads the team by six. Wow, okay. And on defense, they got four players with double-digit tackles for a loss. One guy with eight sacks, that's Jeff Young, Richard senior defensive end. A couple guys with two picks. And four guys with four, or two forced fumbles, excuse me. One block for Antoine Stewart. Redshirt senior middle linebacker. And two defensive touchdowns for the Bobcats. Kicker has missed eight field goals on the season. Woof. No kick returns for touchdown, no punt return. Let's take a look at that schedule. And see what they've been doing this season. Been doing all right. Seven and four, not too bad. All right. They started off with a winner at Western Kentucky. A win at Southeast Missouri State, at Delaware, at Maine. My goodness. Then they beat Hofstra at home. They finally had a home game in week seven. Wow. Okay, then. So they started off 5-0, and and they finished the season with two lo or two wins and four losses. That is rough. A couple bad losses here to Central Michigan and Ball State. Lost to Buffalo by four. Beat UMass. They beat Akron. That's Akron's only loss on the season. And we'll see the Zips tomorrow night. Or not tomorrow night. Wednesday night, I believe. And then they lost to New Hampshire. Wow, okay. Let's get it. I'm ready. I am ready, folks. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to go with that white helmet because it's so sick. I love it. All right. Let me up my water before I choke to death. Don't feel like dying on midstream. All right. Regear Productions in the chat. Watch this be a good game. I think it's going to be a good game. I think Ohio is a pretty solid team. They've just had, you know, a, a pretty tough record as far as, like, their conference opponents. You're going to guess Dayton wins 48-30? to 30? Okay. 
A little bit more faith in my thumbs than usual. I like it. I'll take it. And we get the ball first. <clears throat> About to kick it off here in Dayton, Ohio, in the battle for the state. And Gloves Malone on the return. Takes it out of his own end zone, dropped at the 17 yard line. <coughs> My goodness, excuse me. All right. One more win for 200. On my profile, the one win that was not against the computer was against my best friend, Noel Montanez. Uh-oh, Smash Jackson dropped for a loss of two on the first play of the game, and that is not a hot start. All right. Get something else going here. You looking for a snow game, Tyler? Okay. That'd be fun. All right, second down and 11. Got to get this ground game working, and we're not going to have a chance in this game. There's Smash Jackson up to the 33-yard line. Great run for the big man. Let's go with that read option. A little quarterback choice. Jackson again. Oh, he gets destroyed. Nice tackle. I like to get all the quarterbacks involved here for Dayton. Jared Martin, he's had a pretty rough season as far as accuracy. He is number 99. Dorian Wura is in at quarterback right now. And this is a cold game. You can see the breath of the players. Deep shot. Amari Manuel, and he's got it inside the 20-yard line. That is what you like to see. Let's get it. Great throw from Dorian Wura down inside the 20. All right, inside the red zone. Roll it up. James Skaggs can't get there. Not quite fast enough to catch up to that one. Let's give it off to the freshman phenom, Sonny Six. He has reached the Heisman watch list two times this season. And that is very impressive. There he goes again, and he's gone for the touchdown. He's too fast. Very impressive season from him, especially competing against guys like Brandon Allen, Mr. Highlight, MJ Gator Jr., Zuber Speed, who are all on the uh, top five list for the Heisman right now. So just the fact that the freshman who splits carries with Smash Jackson has clawed his way onto that list with those elite names is very impressive here in his first season. Dayton with a shot at getting to the title game. They got a win here tonight against the Bobcats. Oh, nice return by, I believe that's McKinley Jackson, the guy with two last names. Feels weird. <clears throat> All right. Play action. Get out of here. You're going to drop the pass, you're going to get hit. Take a seat, son. All right, let's get that crowd up. Let's go. This is going to be one of the top 25 stadiums in the preseason after this year. Uh-oh. Passing it back to the quarterback. Look out. Picks up four yards. Feels weird. They're down at five now for the Bobcats. Defense! 
Oh, nice play to McKinley Jackson for the first down. It's going to be a tough matchup. A lot of speed on this Bobcat offense. The Flyers have a lot of speed on defense as well, but it's very evenly matched up, I think. Rocky Clearwater in the chat. What's going on, brother? Glad you can make it out to this street. Uh-oh. Nice run. Nice. Oh, it's a face mask. Or not. Okay. Take Taylor on the tackle. After an eight-yard pickup for John Trot. Second down and two. Bobcats. Oh, wide open. McKinley Jackson. Inside the 25-yard line. Hey, you better not say it, Tyler. You better not, buddy. Don't do it. The like button must be beaten. <laughs> Do it. Oh, I should have had that pick. What is that? All right. Ohio mounting a very nice drive here. Trying to answer the Dayton Flyer touchdown. Shot to the end zone, deflected away by Price. You love to see it. All right, third down and five. Big time play coming up. Deep shot to the end zone again, and it's almost picked off. We get the stop. Very nice. Six yard attempt. Kick us up. And it is good. Bobcats on the scoreboard here in the green and white game. Or the green and uh, red game, I, I mean. You know what I'm saying. Ah, might as well be the white game. They got white jerseys. And green. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, guys. It's a Christmas game. What's up? Buzz Malone. He's got the speed. And that guy had the angle. Feels bad. All right, let's get this offense popping again, shall we? All right, Trent Green, uh-oh. Oh, he comes down with it. Trent Green, let's go, baby. Quarterback was absolutely destroyed. All right, Rocky, you're fired. Get out. <laughs> Throw it up. And Amari Manuel's there and does not get anything on the reception. Very dangerous throw. I did not actually mean to hit that button, but whatever. It worked out all right, I guess. No turnover. Should have been a pick six, but whatever. Second out of ten. And Sunny Six picks up seven yards up the gut. Third down and three. Big play. Trent Green has a step. Oh, he drops it. No! I had him. All right. Let's see if we can get a 54-yard field goal here with Carter. I honestly could not tell you his kick power. Oh, God, that's a miss. 
definitely a miss. Oh, I had the power too. That makes it even more upsetting. Oh, man. All right. So they get to stop. We don't get any points. I may cry. Get him! No! Get out of here. Gloves Malone is too fast. I think he's got 95 speed. The guy's a monster. Uh oh. Nice run by Trot, breaking every tackle. And Trot is gone. Nice effort by Ballhawk. Freshman safety. Just didn't have the speed. Nice 63 yard touchdown run by John Trot. His 18th touchdown on the ground this year. And he completely ran through that defense. Again, good effort by the freshman safety, though. Never gave up on the play. And just like that, the Bobcats are on top, 10 to seven, here in Dayton. Malone on for the return. And Malone dropped at the 20 yard line. I told you guys this is going to be a good game. Ohio is not a pushover. And Sunny Six is going to pick up five yards off the left side. Jackson with a nice juke move. More of a power runner, but he does show some quickness every once in a while. Gets the first down. Sonny six to the outside. Look out. And breaks a tackle. Oh boy, runs over both the defensive backs. It's up over 1,500 yards on the season. Love to see it. Uh oh. Oh, Trent Green almost came away with another pass. <laughs> oh, man. That would have been awesome. Could be the final play of the first quarter. Oh boy, that was blown up from the start. That's going to be the final play of the first quarter. Third, uh, third down and 15 upcoming in the second quarter. Ohio on top, 10 to seven over the number one Dayton Flyers here in the green and red game. The battle for Ohio. I'm going to try to make sure this game happens every season. You can't not have a battle for Ohio. You, you just got to have it. Martin over the top. Incomplete. And the offense stalls out again. Martin showed a lot of promise last season. This season, his accuracy dipped quite significantly. Like, at least 10%. And a decent kick. Uh-oh. No coverage downfield. And that should have been a block in the back. They don't call it. And Jackson is down through 22 yard line. Oh, I missed. Oh, what a hit. Vicious hit.
get out of here. Tate Taylor, I believe, had the sack. And Scott Williams, another non-subscriber defensive lineman, is injured on the play. And it looked like that might have actually been DB Slocum on the sack. You see a good rivalry brewing in the making? Yes, sir. Third down and 11 for the Bobcats. Good pass left side. Caught. I think he's out of bounds, though. And he was short, so we get the stop here. Flyers offense about to take the field yet again. If we stall out again with Jared Martin in at quarterback, I'm going to have to put Dorian Wurra in there. Just been giving him so many chances this season. I haven't been able to get anything going with him. Uh-oh. 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 Amari Manuel is gone. Touchdown, Flyers. Let's go. Who needs a quarterback? Who needs an offense? 69-yard punt return for a touchdown for Amari Manuel. And we're back in it, baby. We on top. 14 to 10. Bill Stevens in the chat. How you doing, buddy? at the 16-yard line. Nice coverage by the kickoff team. Crowd going wild again. Cash Harris is on fire. On the left side right there. Defensive end. Oh, Robert Landy. Woo! <laughs> wow. Get out of my face, he says. Jeez Louise. <laughs> that was nasty. Brings up second down and nine. Oh, Orlandi again. <laughs> oh, baby. Wow. You're about 15 minutes away from Dave. Okay. I see you. You got to get yourself a player on the Flyers for next season, buddy. Yo, I got to get a thumbnail of that one, though. Boy, oh boy. Boom. Orlandi with a vicious hit. I like it. That's a thumbnail right there, folks. Two straight big hits from Rob Orlandi. Uh-oh, deep shot right side, he's got to step on him. Oh, he drops it. Oh, we were fortunate on that one. Wow. Yeah, Bill, if you want a player in this series, buddy, all you got to do is join our Discord community. We'll be adding new players in the offseason. We're already in week 15 here. We just have conference championship week next week. And then bowl season the week after that. And the offseason will be shortly after that. Manuel, another punt return. And he's dropped at the 49-yard line. Six punt returns for touchdowns on the season for Amari Manuel. An absolute stud. Sonny Six going to pick up four yards off the right side. He's got 48 yards tonight on six carries. All righty. What do we got here? 
Wide open. Manual. First down. Nice throw from Dorian Wurra. Seven first downs so far for the Flyers in this ballgame. He's very quick, picks up eight yards on the carry. He can take off whenever he wants. He is so dangerous with the ball. Second down and two now, less than three minutes here in the first half. Wide open, Trent Green down to the 10 yard line. His second catch of the ball game. What was the score of the Cal Poly game? I believe it was 45 to 15. I believe. Smash Jackson on the carry. Can't get to the outside. Picks up a couple yards though. Oh, deflected away at the line. That was a touchdown to Manuel. He was coming across, across clean on a slant route. Third down and seven. We can get a first down here. We got to get just inside the one yard line. And Jackson can't get there. He's dropped at the five. And we're going to attempt another field goal here. This one should be a little bit easier than the last one. And that is too easy. It's 17 to 10 now. Eight play 47 yard drop. Took just over two minutes off the clock for the Flyers. And we're at less than two minutes to go here in the first half. You guys don't like the quarterback wearing 99? Don't be hurtful. That's what the man wanted. Don't hate. Appreciate. All right. We're up by seven. Pressured. Oh, I couldn't quite get there with our landing. What a throw to Anderson. I was so close to deflecting it. And Sullivan's going to pick up five yards. They're going to call their first time out of the half. They got two left now with 129 left in the half. Pretty evenly matched ball game. You've never seen a quarterback wear 99 before? You've, have you never watched the Michigan Wolverines? I know you have, Tyler. You're a Michigan fan. Nice deflection from Rob Orlandi. Third down and five. This could be a huge play. They're going to go play action. Left side deflected away by Dirt Davis. The freshman right outside, linebacker, huge play. And we get the ball back with all three timeouts left. Manual on the punt return. I'm going to have to fair catch that. That's going to be a fumble if I don't. All right. like to get some more points here maybe at least like a field goal before the half is over 
Titan8864. Welcome to the Discord community. Oh, did he wear number 98? My bad. Close enough, right? Manual! Oh! Let it slip through his hands! Oh, man. I've seen a quarterback wear 99, though. I just cannot remember what team it was. That was in the late 90s, early 2000s. Sunny Six on the carry. He's got some speed and some space. Out of bounds at the 34-yard line. I'm glad you knew who I was talking about, though, Carol. Appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> All right, who's on fire here? Trent Green is on fire. Time to throw the football. Very unfortunate. All right, Dorian, take off, buddy. Take off, buddy. Okay. Inside the 45-yard line. Let's call a timeout. Shea Patterson, was he the one who wore 22 for Ole Miss? He went on to play for the Michigan Wolverines. That's you, Titan 8864. Means Illinois Wesleyan Titans grad 1988. Okay, buddy. I see you. I see you, Bill. Oh, boy. Wow. If only I had a split second more, I had R open over the middle of the field. Feels bad. Can I get some blocking, please? Nope. All right, third down and 18. All righty. That's blocking. Dorian, we're going to take off. And inside the 40-yard line. Might as well try another long field goal here. Why not? 56-yarder. We had the leg for the 54. We just missed it to the right. I think I missed it to the right again, guys. Oh, man. Well, that's the end of the first half. 17-10, number one Dayton on top of the 7-4 Ohio Bobcats. In the red and green game here for the Battle of Ohio. Feels bad that I've missed two field goals, but it was worth a shot both times. We got the leg for it. This did not have the accuracy. Can we tackle him, please? Wow, really? Really? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Just let him run right by us all. Awesome. Triple header tonight? Absolutely not. <laughs> not tonight. I don't got it in me. Nice run by Trot. He's been all over this defense tonight. Left side caught by Brown. Okay, nice pass again. This quarterback is very good. Just 
got to focus on stopping Trot. I think we'll be all right. Oh, or Landy with a big hit. This is the Christmas Bowl, <laughs> basically. Second down and seven now for the Bobcats at the 31-yard line of Dayton. Get him. Nice tackle for Tate Taylor, the big defensive tackle. Later, bro. All right, they are one of five on third downs tonight. And this is a third down and nine situation. Oh, how did I miss that? Oh, what? <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> That definitely should have been a sack. That's unreal. Trot with another carry here, right side, picks up nine yards. And he's almost got 1,400 on the season now. Ohio driving, trying to tie this ball game up. Man, nice run. Couldn't get out to the outside on that one. Trot over 100 yards now for the game. Switch it up to the 3-4 here from the three-yard line. Let's see what happens. And a nice tackle for DB Slocum, the freshman. 54th tackle to, uh, of the season. Would like to see an upset. Why you guys always want me to lose all the time? It's so hurtful. I don't mind losing, though. <laughs> I would be so bored with this if I had won every single game. Oh, wow! Oh, I don't know how I didn't pick that. Oh man, I read that so perfect. Oh my goodness. Ohio gonna tie it up now with that one. That was so close, I should have been a pick right there, man. And we are all tied up at 17 apiece. That was a nine place, 64 yard drive. Took two and a half minutes off the clock. Very nice drive for the Bobcats. I am not gonna return that one. No siree. All right. That's just fantastic. <laughs> All right, second down and 13 now. We just keep our moving backwards on offense. Wow, look at the pressure. Goodness gracious, good thing he's fast. He's a streak of lightning out here. He's got 52 yards on the ground now. And Sunny Six will pick up four yards. The ground game, we've had some decent runs, and then other times we're just getting blown up around the line of scrimmage. It's going to be a shootout, whoever gets the ball last. I don't know, it's kind of a, a defensive slugfest right now, and I like it. It's 
Smash Jackson on the option. First down and more down the left sideline. Smash Jackson is gone. Let's go. Huge run for the Smash. I'll get you hooked up in the Discord after the stream, Bill. You won't be able to add your player until the offseason when I'm done with all the recruiting. And then you'll be able to customize uh, any, any recruit that you want. Customize pretty much everything for the recruits except for like the hometown. They want to do that, and we can't do the ratings. But I, I simplify it for everybody, so you pretty much you'll know what you're gonna have to do. I just got absolutely run over. Just got steamrolled <laughs> by Sullivan. Play action. It's backfiring though. Slocum gets the sack. His second of the ball game. Brings up third down and 14 for Ohio. For the Ohio Bobcats. Oh man, my nose is so stuffed up. It's like it's so hard to just speak English right now. What a pass to Taylor. Man, this quarterback can slang the tater, can he? My goodness. First down, Ohio. And he's going to be sacked again. That's Cash Harris. First sack of the ball game. I believe that's number 11 on the season. been running all over us all game so happy I brought him down right there because he would have been off to the races all right defense third down 12 yards to go let's get it high snap Mason over the middle oh I don't have the speed nice play by Jackson he just dives to make sure he gets it I cannot compete with that with Rob Orlandi he's he's good he is really good, but he is not fast enough to cover our number one receiver. And Trock gets a carry, cuts it back. Great move, breaking tackles, picks up nine yards. Man, he is so good. Defense is exhausted at this point. Just hoping for the quarter to end. Give my guys a breather. Second down and one now for Ohio. Toss play right side. They're going to throw it back to the quarterback. Mason does not get back to the line of scrimmage. And that is going to be the end of the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. We've got ourselves a fantastic game in the Battle of Ohio. Number one Flyers on top 24-17 over in-state rival Ohio. Gonna go with the fullback dive. He's got it in more. And Sullivan gets it inside the 30 yard line. Defense has allowed about 70 more rushing yards today than we have all season long on, on defense. That's rough. The 
play action. Mason to throw. Deep shot to the end zone. Deflected away by Ballhawk. Great play by the freshman safety. I love how we had more viewers on the other game <laughs> than we do on this one. When this game actually means something. Come on, get him. All right, he picks up a few yards. Brings up third down and six. Defense is still gassed. Throw it over the middle, and it's incomplete. Great play, and we're going to hold him to a field goal attempt here. 42-yarder for Goins. I wish the crowd actually affected the kicker, but it doesn't. And he got it. 24-20, that was a 13-play, 55-yard drive. Took over three minutes off the clock. All right. Mario Manuel on the return from two yards deep in his own end zone. He's going to fall forward to about the 19-yard line. Let's get some first downs here. Let's, let's try to drain this clock out. Get another score. Get out of here with a win. Oh, boy. Sunny six. Destroyed at the line of scrimmage. Wow. Okay. That wasn't very nice. Brings up second down and ten now for Dayton. This could be a decent play. Or not. Completely blown up. Come on now. Got a block for me, brother. This is rough, folks. We are 0 for 4 on third downs tonight. Unfortunate. And that is a double coverage. Not a good pass. Man, I thought it was one-on-one. -on -one. I didn't see the safety in the middle of the field. And we're going to have to punt it away. High snap. And Jackson is dropped by James Skaggs. Number two tight end. All right, let's play some defense, shall we? And Trot stopped at the line of scrimmage. He's got a buck 21 tonight and a touchdown. down for the Bobcats. Man. Kind of got sucked into a little bit of a block right there. And that gave him the ability to get to the outside and get that first down. And the fullback picks up a couple yards. Can we just get the first third down conversion? Man, I would love to convert a third down in this game. <laughs> I really would. Uh-oh. Nice run again by Trot. Picks up five yards up the middle. And that's going to bring up third down and four. 
I'm gonna go with a three four here with some linebackers. Uh-oh. He got it. Yes, he did. Dirk Davis slows him down enough. And he's dropped at the six-yard line. His running back has just been bawling out of his mind. Ohio looking to take the lead. With less than three minutes left on the clock. Oh boy, I thought that was a touchdown. Defense is pretty much exhausted at this point. Try is on fire, and they're going to throw it instead. The red side deflected away. Great play by Price. Oh, baby. <laughs> wow. You got to hold your breath in those one-on-one -on -one situations over there. You never know what the defensive back is going to do. Third and goal from the six. And they can't hear a thing down on the field. And they're gonna run it. No! Oh, he got it! It runs through the heart of the defense. And Ohio takes the lead over number one Dayton. 26-24 here in the fourth. Man, what a game this is. What a game. Eight plays, 55 yards, a minute and a half off the clock from the Bobcats. Can the Flyers answer? Can they get the dub? And head on out to the national championship game. That is what's at stake here tonight. All right. Twenty-seven, twenty-four. 2.30 left in the ball game. And Sunny Six will pick up a few yards up the middle. takes off and we're gonna slide here avoid the hit and Mike Bobo one of our offensive linemen is injured on the play hurt his elbow hopefully he's all right One-on-one -on -one coverage, Amari Manuel, he's got it inside the 10, let's go! What a throw from Dorian Wura. My goodness. You cannot leave a corner one-on-one -on -one with Amari Manuel like that, you just can't do it. I'm going to test it every time. I will throw it deep. All right, we are in business. In field goal range already, obviously. Sunny Six dropped at the line of scrimmage.
Manual player of the game for Dayton Trot, player of the game for Ohio. Had one heck of a game on the ground tonight. Uh-oh. Pressured. Oh, can't get it to the fullback, and there was holding anyway. Man. All right, second to go now from the 17-yard line. Forty-nine seconds. Wow. Pressured and sacked immediately. That is terrible. Third and goal now. Over five on third downs tonight. Uh-oh. Amari Manuel came down with it for the touchdown. <laughs> oh, baby, let's go. What a play. Oh, man. Our first third down conversion of the game. And it's for the go-ahead touchdown, and it might just send the Dayton Flyers to the national championship game. <laughs> oh, man. That was in... Quadruple coverage. That's the thumbnail. Forget about Rob Orlandi earlier. Oh boy. There look at all these defenders around him. I mean look at this. Man. <laughs> oh man. Wow. That's crazy. All right, let's let's just replay it. Manuel absolutely destroyed. Or Dorian Wurad destroyed, actually. And Manuel comes away with it. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. That was absolutely absurd. All right. Now we got to play some defense again. I am not kicking it deep. I've had too many kick returns for touchdowns against me in this series. I'm not doing it. It sure was a duck, man. Quarterback got leveled on that pass. All right, all we got to do is hold them from getting into the end zone. A trip to the national championship game is on the line. And Trot. Uh-oh, there's a flag. It's going to get them to our 47-yard line. They call their first timeout. And they're going to run the football with John Try. He breaks a tackle. Only gets a yard, though. I don't know about that play call. All right, they got one timeout left. I'm going to expect a couple Hail Marys here. Mason hit as he throws. Should be the game, and it is. Price with the pick. And the Dayton Flyers are headed to the national championship game. Just like that. Oh, man, what a game that was. Wow. Unbelievable. An instant classic on the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed that one, folks. Head coach, John Gruden, gets the Gatorade bath. <laughs> wow. What a game. And 
Jermaine Price with the game ceiling interception. <laughs> what a game. All right, 399 yards of offense for Dayton, 222 on the ground. No turnovers for the Flyers tonight. And just that one interception, that was the only takeaway of the whole game, was the final play. Hats off to the Ohio Bobcats, giving it everything they had. Just fell just short in the end. Well, they were one heck of an opponent, that is for sure. John Trott going to go on to the EFL most likely. He's a junior, redshirt junior right now, I believe. So if he stays for his redshirt senior season, we'll see him in the first ever Elite Football League draft. Keep the rivalry alive? Absolutely. What a game this was. Dorian, we're a heck of a game from him. We're going to have to start him in the national championship game, I believe. Martin just not getting it done for them this season. Man, oh man, nobody went over 100 yards rushing today for the Flyers. Very rare for them. Manuel, only two players had catches. <laughs> My Manuel, Trent Green. Each had a drop. D.B. Slocum, Jamie Foster, and Rob Orlandi all had seven tackles tonight. Foster, a non-subscriber player. Cash Harris with five. Jermaine Price had the game ceiling interception. He had three tackles as well. Man, oh man. Six tackles for a loss for the defense. Three sacks. Two for Slocum. One for Cash Harris. Game ceiling pick for Price. Nine pass deflections for the defense. No forced fumbles. I missed two field goals with Robert Carter. They were both 50-plus yard field goals. It's okay. And Amari Manuel, 69-yard punt return for a touchdown. And the Dayton Flyers should be headed off to the national championship game. I don't see how anybody could jump them at this point. 11-1 on the season. They do not win the Big Ten. That goes to Montana, who beat Dayton. But my goodness, our next two games... Which will be, let's see, Wednesday night, the 29th, will be number 18 Akron, 9 and 1 on the season, traveling to take on the 7 and 4 Northern Colorado Bears. And the second game of that doubleheader will be number 10 Southern Utah, 10 and 1 on the season, at 3 and 8 Idaho. I will see you guys Wednesday night with those, and I'll see you guys in the Discord. Uh, but yeah, until the next streams, take it easy, guys. Kobe.